What's good homies, it's your boy. Oh my goodness, a long time, long time no see. Man, looks like I'm wearing a do-rag. I might have to take take this off. I'm gonna keep it on for now. Um, so we are going to... Um, Revival Worship Night at Hillsong Church. Yes, and if you don't know, this is Terry. Hello. What's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be going downtown, right? Yeah. Downtown for... Um, oh. Oh, so that's the kind of borderline downtown. Yeah, yeah. So we went on the, the Hillsong concert. We didn't get a vlog that, um, unfortunately, but we're going for more worship. Um, so, and it's going to be with uh, Jad, right? Jad, who's a worship leader from Hillsong United. So it's kind of like Hillsong United concert part two, almost. Yeah. So Hillsong United. Part two. Part two. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go for some celebrities. So, I mean, just enjoy the video. We'll talk to you soon. Anyways. Blessings, peace, we out. This is our stop, dude. Oh man, I'm excited. Haven't had a Slurpee in a while. Oof, that's not Slurpees. Slurps are over here. Okay, so we got Coke, cream soda, Sour Patch, Strawberry Blast, Banana Crush, Green Apple, Sour Blue Raspberry, Pepsi, and of course, Sweet Tea. Say it again, what'd you say? There's uh, sugar in here, you know? It's gonna get us too <laughs> all hyped up, you know? <laughs> Yo, those things. Oh my gosh, I'm already getting like tangled and stuff. Guys, if, you, <laughs> if we go crazy during worship, you already know what happened. It was a, it was a 7, 7 11. I don't know, I had to double check that. 7 11 slurp, the slurpy juice. <laughs> what'd you get in your slurp juice? Show them. I uh, just got the. Uh, green apple. Green apple. Caffeine and a, free. And a sour raspberry. And a sour raspberry. <laughs> Quick repeating everything he says. <laughs> and you got and you got the sweet tea, no? I think I got the Pepsi. And of course, sweet tea. <laughs> what is it? The sour sweet tea. Patch? Sweet tea. Yeah, sweet tea. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I got I got basically the same thing. Green apple. Cream soda at the top, somewhere here, like somewhere there, you know. Um, there's the Pepsi, and then in the middle right there, you can see like where my my um, my ring finger and my pinky, like that much. It's um the blue raspberry. I was thinking of getting the the sour watermelon or something like that, but man, that thing was so sour. It was like, ugh. <laughs> I don't, like, I need my taste buds for food. Oh man, where's my straw? You wanna feel sour, that's why. Hold on, I'm gonna poop my straw. <sighs> there you go. Right. You know those ones, um, where you get a straw and then the straw's broken? Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you know those ones? Has that happened to you? Where you, where you open the straw and you're like, you put in a drink but your straw's broken? Oh, is it like a cut in the middle? Yeah, or something, like there's a cut. Has that happened to you? I think I had that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> few times. Things falling uh -huh. apart. That's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what did I order? Would you share your Slurpee with your first date? I'll think about that. Oh. I just uh, would you? Oh. You would? Uh, I wouldn't. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> You're savage, man. <laughs> this is my Slurpee. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. That's a media I, breakup. <laughs> that's the deal breaker. That's a deal breaker. Try drinking my drink. What? That's no, I'm just kidding. Straight? I don't actually you know. Oh uh, uh, yeah, straight. We'll have to find out, right? Right. Right. Wrong. Wrong. Left. Right. Down. Yeah. North, Up. south, west, east. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it is gonna be a crazy day. <laughs> <laughs> chill, chill, chill. Focus on driving. Hey, you I, can't, can you, I can multitask, no, man. No, no, you can't laugh and drive at the same like, time. What, is that a rule? That's a rule. I don't, was... don't, don't laugh and drive. Don't you know? <laughs> dude, dude, chill, chill. Only on ambers. You can only laugh on ambers. Ambers? <laughs> yeah. The yellow light, amber. So you have that one second to laugh. Can you imagine? If you wanna like So when you see this color, the color I'm wearing, when you see that on the traffic light, you can only laugh then. <laughs> it's like you it's literally for, like a giggle. You laugh, you laugh like it's for a split second. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally like 
like, I think you have to like cut it. It's like it. a choke laugh, you know? Yeah, you can't even... It's like you a can, choke laugh, you know? That's like, you get to open your mouth and then like, you have to close it. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyways. It's like a choke laugh right Back to the vlog. <laughs> what was the highlight of your weekend? Um, weekend. Well, um, hanging with friends. Went downtown. Uh-huh. Uh, going downtown. Wait, with who? Uh, a friend of mine. And, um, we were just, uh, just catching up. And, um, yeah, we just, and she wants to know something, wants to know. Oh, sorry, I, like, cut. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> right when he said, "Oh my gosh, that's actually so funny." I'm gonna replay that, replay that, replay that right now. And she wants to know something. <laughs> it sounded like one of those swearing bleep um, buttons. Oh huh? yeah, did it? <laughs> and I wasn't saying any any beep curse beep. words, you know. <laughs> beep. Yeah. So what was the highlight of your weekend? Hanging out. Uh, I hung out with a, with a friend just to catch up. I went downtown and get to explore places around. Oh, okay. Yeah. Some nice um, architecture, you know? Architecture. <laughs> She's just asking me uh, how, uh, uh, why am I so humble? You know? Why am I never have a hard time getting mad at things easily? And um, I said, mm. hey, you know, it's all Jesus, you know? Mm. Word up. Amen. Uh, in the past, you know, I had a, t a tough life. Uh, a tough life when I was like, I was, when I was 14 years old. And then like the biggest transformation from Jesus, you know, like turned me to what I am now. So, uh, do you want to put up your window? I don't know. Am I? <laughs> I know it's a little late. I guess like right when you're done. You're <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I swear my teeth were like, like yellow. Now they're green. Oh gosh! Oh my gosh! They're gonna be like purple. Yikes! You, oh, that's that's something I wanna. Do, do those things make you uncomfortable? What? Like, like if someone asks you, um, would you ever whiten your teeth? Would that make you uncomfortable? <laughs> that question. Wait, whiten your teeth? Yeah, it's like, oh, like, hey, have you ever thought about like whitening your teeth? <laughs> like, what would? <laughs> would you be like embarrassed, or would you like feel a certain way if someone asked you that? I don't know. I haven't had anyone ask me that for real, but okay. So like, picture this: if this, if someone actually asked asked that, if I actually experienced it for the first time, and someone asking me that, but I'll be like, like if a, if a, if, a, if, a, if a girl asked you that, she was just like, oh hey Terry, um, uh, have you ever thought about uh getting like a nose job? I mean, what? That's my reaction. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I, maybe I actually would be like like <laughs> nose. What? <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> I would probably, I would probably giggle. I'd be like, what? I'd probably, like, I start, not, I I'd probably make fun of the person. To be honest, I'd probably, I'll, be, I'll probably ask what's a nose job, you know? <laughs> wow. <laughs> what's a nose? Oh. <laughs> it sounds like a broken violin. <laughs> <laughs> Here, we'll take a break. We'll be back with some more questions after this intermission. We are back. We are back. I hope you guys enjoyed that brief intermission. Intermission. But um, <laughs> what's called Terry and I were just talking about um, just about our Devo recently that that stood out. Um, uh, it was about accepting, 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 and uh, following Christ. Accepting and, versus following. Yeah, accepting versus following Christ. Um, and you know, this just the importance of being rooted in Christ. One thing that stood out recently, uh, well, today actually, in in today's um, Sunday, Monday, Sunday, Monday, Sunday morning service at church was um, um, was this question: What makes what makes a Christian? What makes a Christian? What makes a Christian? Oh my God! This is like, you surrender. Let's like, say um, repentance, right? Um, accepting is like um, it's like response to invitation. Mm. And like 
and um, following is like com is commitment. You know, following equals commitment. You know, take a look at the Facebook analogy. Um, like say you have a friend, um, you you met you met someone new. You ask for their like you ask for their Facebook. Do you want to you want to add them? And once you add them, like you, and the another person has like a decision to make, either accept or decline. Like it's like when they accept, they don't even do any and they do not and not even like doing any follow up, just uh, to, to message you back, say hey, nice meeting you, whatever, you know. Like that's just a one side of like, friendship. It's like it's like you know what I mean. Like they just want to have you just on their friends list. Like for us Christians, you know, like we just accept. It's like say, oh, I accept Jesus you know, as my Lord and Savior, but you know, and then they're not doing the will of the Father. Of, of the Father. You know? Okay, okay. So t to tie it all together, I guess. Like I guess this would get my answer then if I just tie it all together. A Christian is someone who not only accepts Jesus as um, their 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 Lord and Savior, but also obeys His commands. Yeah, yeah. That's actually really interesting. It's actually really good you brought that up. I thought you were kind of going off topic uh, for a bit, but I was actually wrong because um, I was kind of wondering. The question I had in mind when when I heard this, what makes a Christian, or the answer I mean I had in mind, was that it was just accept. It was just having a relationship with Jesus. Um, but um, you know that that plays a big part in uh, in one being a Christian, but that it, that's more so like the answer for um, how how can you be saved or how do you know you're saved, right? And the definitive answer is not it's not by our deeds, right? Yeah. It's not by our works, right? Right. It's not what we do, but. Um, uh, but who we have a personal relationship with and then and that's and that's obviously Jesus Jesus Christ Right, right. Yeah, the way the truth of life. Yeah, so in terms of um, being saved right or going to heaven, right? Uh, being saved from our sins the, the only way you can be saved go to heaven have eternal life is through Jesus Christ um, our Lord um, and he declares it John 14 6 I'm the way the truth and the life no one comes to the Father except through me right but in terms of um, what makes a Christian it's it's one who accepts that who believes that that um, Jesus is the way is um, the truth and the life right and that no one can go to the Father except through him right that's 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 an important part of of a Christian being a Christian but also um, loving God, loving others, and obeying God's commands. So, right? Right. Yeah. And, um, <clears throat> Some sip on that. And um, especially like uh, when you to follow Jesus, like it's like surrendering. It's like, you say like from Romans 10, 10 9 it says, if you if you if you declare for um, if you confess from your mouth and say Jesus is Lord, and and believe that in your hearts that God raised from the dead, you will be you will be saved. <laughs> There's no condemnation for those who believe in Jesus. Right? No condemnation. It's a verse, no? I'll double check and put it right now. But yeah. So that was, that was a good that was a good talk. Yeah, that was good. And yeah, share with many people if you wanna if you can learn this thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Hit that subscribe, like, comment down below, holla at your boy if you enjoyed that part of the video. Well, we'll see y'all in a bit. What's good, guys? We are here on the bay and Davenport. You excited? Oh, yeah. Where is it? Is there over there? Oh, it's back there. Like oh, never mind, never mind. It's back there. Oh, look at this doggy, so cute. Come on, keep walking. Oh, look at this boy. What a cute boy. He's a cutie. Look at this cutie. Look at this cutie. Look at this cutie. <laughs> it's me. Look at that cutie. <sighs> He's a king. Is he a king? Doggy, 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 doggy. Oh. Look at him. Smile. Smile. Oh, what a good boy. What a 
What a good boy. Good homies. So we just finished at the Hillsong worship night. Worship night. Unfortunately, Jad wasn't there, but I mean, you know, it's all good. The church prayed for him. Um, the service was great about being strong, and courageous, and I mean, you know, walking, walking by faith, not by sight um, or feelings. Um, so it was very encouraging, and uh, we met some dope people. You got to meet some people, right? Oh, Who'd yeah. you get to meet? Not the drummer. <laughs> yeah, the drummer. Not the, not the worship team. Yeah, shout out to George, right? Yeah, George. George. But yeah, it was a great service, to be honest. It's great. Yeah. It was even the worship. The worship, the worship team was, was dope. But yeah, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You already know how it ends. Take care. Strong courageous. Blessings. Peace. Be strong and courageous. A. We out.